Today, we're talking about how to sell your beloved dove. Best way to do it. In the echo chamber, and the bunny man. Ah, uh, nice, very nice. So, fingerprints are overrated. Yeah. Lady Greg, brought to you by 3M. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, we use a lot of 3M products. We, yeah, we do. We, we really do like these stuff. I think that's why they sent us to SEMA that year. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, it was fun. They gotta do it again. Hey, 3M, I'd like to go to SEMA again. <laughs> and it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, <laughs> what are you doing, crazy? Man. I am doing fingerprints are overrated today. So yes. what I'm doing is I'm prepping before we even start doing body work, um, just so I can see what I'm working with. So the whole thing has been shot in a heavy epoxy sealer, and Darren's gone through and done all the welding repairs, and now it's my job in the body shop to start sanding it down and actually see what I've got to do for filler work and metal bumping. I've got a little bit of metal bumping to do in here, um, and I'm going to do some finish, uh, some filler work in here just to hide that. Um, it's just best practices. We're gonna be, we put them into a, a green epoxy on the welds, uh -huh. so it makes them watertight and all of that stuff, so they don't rush from the inside. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, this morning I was. Shipping out the old seam sealer, which all that you see around here and this stuff is, this is some nasty stuff. And so the black stuff that you see on the back of that, um, that's actually rust. Oh. And that's why I don't, that's why we remove it and we wire brush it out and clean it out and all that stuff. And then um, I do a phosphoric acid treatment on it also. And that helps convert it over to chemistry, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Anyway. Science, you Science, yo. All right. So we had a question. I like questions. How would you go about selling a Volkswagen, like a classic Volkswagen? Well, there's a couple ways. Um, how to sell a VW, whether it's a bus or a square back or whatever. It doesn't really matter. It's all the same process. You have to know your market. You got to know your price and what your car is worth. Um, if this is a panic sale, then good luck. You're not going to get the price you want because you're just going to get a bunch of low dollars and you'll end up taking something. Um, best way is to get it out there in advertisement. I hate saying it, but right now, Facebook is probably the marketplace. And then some of the buy and sell groups for VWs is probably going to be your best bet for the biggest reach because there's a lot of members in those groups uh -huh. and people are actively looking. The other one I would say is, um, um, go over to Everett's site, the Samba.com, T H E S A M B A.com. Um, go to the classifieds. He's probably got the largest online listing um, other than Facebook that I've ever seen. And it's been there for 30, 20, 30 years. So okay. that, those are the two best options. Great. And in your ad, provide as much information as you can. Of and course. lots of pictures. Lots and of pictures. Lots of pictures. Right? And then, you know, you can always set up a Dropbox folder and give them a link to, you know, your picture folder or whatever like that. Yeah. I mean, if you're buying a car, you go there and you go buy the car mm -hmm. or you arrange a carrier to come pick it up. Mm -hmm. So, um, in fact, we just did that with one of our clients. He had an extra 55 and we helped facilitate um, a, a buyer coming and picking up just because we we're in town and the client wasn't. So, yeah. anyway, hey, Darren, uh, since I'm inside the echo chamber, can you uh, show these lovely folks <laughs> what we actually got going on this week? All right. We got a parade me. of beetles, but we'll get to that after. Follow me here through, All the, right. through the labyrinth here. Yes, we'll yes. go that way around and then. Go into the back there and see if we can keep them tripping over cars and parts. That'd be good. So the paint booth is full. Who can't even fit in here? There's so much stuff going on. <laughs> so back here, 
A little hidden chamber. Uh -huh. This is where we hide stuff at. Oh, this my. is where if you go over the other, so some of Mr. Hersker's parts are in here that have been painted, mm -hmm. waiting to get back on the body when we get ready to make the body. So there's his fenders, his hood. And there's Reaper. Reaper's there. Ranges, hood, and doors and stuff, waiting to go back on her, sitting over there. His bumpers and stuff like that. There's a box, which is Mrs. Riley's air conditioning, which is waiting. So it's kind of like the staging area. Yeah. The ranges seats are in those there. We just okay. the back seat. Um, we have the Notchback motor sitting over here, wrapped up, way to go. Cabral <laughs> sitting back there getting worked on. Um, Hershker's doors and deck lid, Riley's glass. I mean, on and on and on. We have a bunch of stuff going on. This is the um, but uh, Josh is back here working on Mr. Miller's motor. We had he had it um, us take all the tins off and send them out to powder coat, and uh -huh. he came back, so he's putting that back together, and then we'll put that in his car, which is a little. A uh, 72 Super that's out back. It's been here before, a little blue one. Yeah. And uh, so. Um, All right. Whose engine is over there? That engine is, let me think it through. Um, <laughs> that is, man, I got so many engines. I know. That's all right. This one right here is Gazos. Okay. That one right there is, <laughs> man. <laughs> we got it guys. written somewhere. Yeah, we got it. We got it written down. All right. But, uh, oh, that's, that's Reapers. Oh, good. Wow. Yeah, oh, my so. God. Are you serious? Yeah, that's Reaper's motor. It was over getting some work with John, I oh believe. Oh my gosh. And it just came back. That's so. insane. That's why. So, and, and that's Lauren's some, notch, right? So, yeah, the oh. notch is sitting there still. So there's Ray's seats and his little cushions and stuff. So, like Beautiful. I said, there's Gazel's motor patiently waiting for his actions to come back so we can put him together. Is that Herbie? Okay. Herbie here. Yeah, we got Herbie. Oh, we talk about Herbie a lot, but I'll get uh, he. So, he's done except for waiting for the weather to go over to. Get his alignment done. So the last thing we did, once we got his brake stuff straight out, is uh, Mr. Worrell asked for LEDs. So we got LED tail lights and headlights. So Ooh. there's his little tail lights. Those are LED out, and the LED the tail lights are bulbs. So they mm -hmm. fit in the stock. The headlights are actually the A4 full lens that they do make that goes in the side. Ooh. So they're really bright. And, that is. Yeah, so it's LED conversion. The nice. only problem they have on some cars, and it's just some cars, is the turn signals, which this car, the turn signals are separate, so okay. it doesn't come into play. It's still a halogen ball for the turn signals, but sometimes you have to put a resistor on there because it doesn't act right with the... Uh... So anyways, Herbie's sitting here, covered up, waiting. He just wants to go get his alignment, and he gets to go <laughs> home. And then we've got uh, Mr. Hatcher's. Remember when we already talked about it, it went blast and, right. and right. that they started the metal work. So Josh cut out that pack, part of the package tray and started that work. So um, we're in a weather holding pattern because this car actually, we had one outside and almost got hurt yesterday, but we didn't, we caught it before it did. But we can't take these out in the weather. Right. So we can't move them outside to bring them around where they need to go. So we're kind of in a, a squash pad. We got, we got bugs nose to tail. One, yeah. two, three, four. <laughs> yep. Another bug there. So they're all squished up here. Still, Miss Riley's still waiting on a couple things. Like I said, we're still there on that. Mr. Gavin is still waiting on the axles. Um, still is on range, too. I mean, my seat brackets, hopefully, have come in. Good. Um, we'll go from there, and then uh, we'll head out here. There's a couple things out here we'll talk about. Okay. I got Mr. Bauer's bus out here. And it's, uh, it's a, we, he's done several things, but it's been sitting for a while waiting on so what happened here is this is a, a bus, obviously, and it had a beetle motor put in it, which is a, which is certainly fine, but there you need to adjust for the Type 4 motor, which is bigger, right. and it has big open areas. So there's there's a lot of areas we're missing. I think we might have talked about it before. But anyways, we had to order tins, and I say tins, but these actually turn out to be fiberglass, mm -hmm. but they fill that spot, and there's new engine seal on that. So I'm putting that. We've been waiting. It just came in yesterday. I'm going to put that all in, and Mr. Bauer's or the the Bowers, Mr. and Mr. get to have their bus and go camping finally. So nice. um we're gonna try to get that done today here and send that one on out. And then we've got um well we got the show coming up October yes. 15th. So there's our, our blow 16th. motor. We're oh yeah to, right. to spruce up a little bit to blow up. Right. So, Resurrect so, it just yeah, long so enough to getting, run we one got more dragged it out of the uh out of the grave and, and gonna <laughs> Put it up on the test stand and get her. It's the zombie motor. Yeah, so it will not die. Apparently, it won't die. Yeah, so I don't know what we're <laughs> gonna do, but we'll uh, we'll get it all fixed up. And yeah, the show is October sixteenth, so we're starting to prep for that and uh, 
and get Great. ready to do uh, to do it big. We're gonna have a big swap meet. Um, nice. We're cleaning out a lot of junk, so yeah, you guys, yeah, you guys, you're gonna have lots of you shopping. Guys, you guys get our leftovers. <laughs> Likewise, like a couple of people have already asked if you've got junk, I guess you could bring it and sell it yeah. too. I guess yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. The one thing we're asking is a donation um, for the charity, which is uh, a Lair Community a, Farm. A Lair Community Farms. Um, they do really good work up there with uh, some disadvantaged animals and people. Yeah. So, so we've got a couple other things like we've been talking about. We're adding on the building, and that's still in the works. So should right. that be cleared out? And we're in a waiting line for that, like everybody's in waiting lines. Yeah, for but, uh, just about everything. But yeah. everything. So, um, but what we did start doing is we came up with the idea. Some people, some of y'all out there in the world that are wanting to have your cars done here, we're obviously in a holding pattern because we know we're going to decide. Well, what we came up with is we have a storage place not too far down the road, and we worked out a deal with them. And this kind of came about because of one person that we were talking to, they were paying over $300 a month to store oh, this car. This really? Unit. Yeah. And yeah. so I was like, hey, wait a minute, you're already on the list, you already paid your deposit, we can get you a storage unit for $83 a month. Yeah. And so he did do that, his car's coming Friday the 16th. Okay. But that's gonna be available to anybody, so it says, if you got a car sitting around and you're already on our list, or you wanna be on our list, and we don't have room inside right now, that's an option. So if, it's, if you're paying a bunch of money for it to sit somewhere or it's in your way, that's another way to get yeah. get in there. And then that way too, once there is room for us to start working we on it, we can go, go it. grab it. Yeah, it's right it. down the street. We don't have to do all that. So that's that's so that's actually cool little mid deal. It's less than a hundred bucks a month. Yeah, eighty three dollars a month. Yeah, there's store, some benefits so. for how, us how being in Alabama. How much is your garage worth? To you? <laughs> yeah, you know, if you're climbing over an old beetle to get out <laughs> outside every day, then maybe it's worth eighty three dollars. And we're not talking; it's going to sit there for years. It's just you right. know, if you're already on our list or or close to it, you know, like like we said, we can go get it when we need sure. it. So uh, it make it a lot easier. So. Yeah. yeah. So All that's right. an option at least. All right, and I know we're hiring. Yes, we are hiring. So we've we've got, had a few people come in. We have, and we've got some, we're gonna do some interviews on Tuesday, but that doesn't mean stop coming and right. calling and yeah. filling applications. So yeah, we we'll, still need We'll take people. applications, you know, it's like if we have another opening come up, then. We'll, we'll definitely get you an interview. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. Come down and meet us. Get a shop tour. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, things are uh, moving right along, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. we're trying. We're trying. <laughs> there we go. All right. You know what to do. All right. Goodbye, nice people. Bye, nice people.